Joining us now is John Miniotis. He is the CEO of Abra Plata Resource, and we're talking about Argentina. And what kind of a project are you? Welcome, by the way. Thank you very much. Uh, what kind of project are we talking about? Uh, so it's a silver gold project. It's an epithermal project. Um, about 60% of the economics is on silver, 40% gold. So we've got quite a large resource there at our main property, which is called Diablilos. Uh, like I say, it's, it's about 80 million ounces of silver, 730,000 ounces of uh, gold, all in the indicated resource category. And you're, uh, you're fairly well along in the, in the process, am I right, in terms of exploration and proving it out? That's and, correct, yeah. yeah. So this project has quite an extensive history. So there's been over $35 million U.S. spent on this property uh, and about 90,000 meters of historical drilling. So Aberplat acquired an option to own 100% of the project from SSR Mining back in 2016. Um, and you know we completed a PA study on an open pit scenario uh, in 2018 as well, which showed good economics. So at $20 silver, $1,300 gold, um, we showed an after-tax IRR of 30%. Nice. Now you mentioned SSR. They own a big chunk, double digits, and so does Altius Minerals combined, about 33%. That's so correct. So some solid backing there. Very solid backing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we're very fortunate to have those two as strong supportive shareholders. Uh, as you mentioned, they're about 30, one third of, of the shares outstanding belong to those two companies, and they also have each board members on, on our board. Uh, so, what, what else about the project makes it interesting, makes it unique and different, and why should investors care about this? Yeah, yeah. So, there's still some very high grade gold exploration down beneath the existing mineralization. So, we're conducting a drill program at site at the moment. It's about a 3,000 meter drill program, which we started in November of last year. Um, and it's really to test the, the gold extent of the higher grade gold mineralization sitting just beneath the existing resource. So this has historically been viewed as an open pit uh, potential and the drilling's only gone down historically about 250 meters. And so we're testing some of uh, you know, the higher grade mineralization just beneath the existing pit. So we expect to have those results come out uh, within the next uh, few weeks here. Okay. We'll look for that. And uh, what about uh, in terms of uh, some of your peers, similar type companies? Why do you think you're undervalued? What are some of the factors there? Yeah, yeah. So our plot is trading at seven cents per ounce. So we are on an in situ, you know, dollars per ounce resource. We are the cheapest silver exploration company at the moment. So we're trading at seven cents per ounce silver equivalent, whereas our peers are trading at closer to thirty cents uh, on average. Um, I think one of the reasons for that is that it's still. Uh, so we just completed a transformational merger with a company called Athon Minerals, which is where I came from. Um, and so Abra Plata in the past uh, was in a financially distressed situation. So they ran out of cash and there was a $5 million cash payment due to SSR in November of last year. Um, however, with the Athon merger, Athon brought some cash to the table and some Chilean properties as well. Uh, so we've cleaned up the financial position and we've pushed back the SSR payment by four years. Uh, okay. So now the company is well capitalized, uh, good balance sheet, no debt, and this payment has been pushed out four years. However, the stock has not re-rated. So that merger just closed uh, three weeks ago. Okay. Uh, and so my job now is to get out there, promote the story, and let people understand that this is the new Abra Plata, if you will, um, and that we're in a, a very strong financial position, and we have these catalysts. So we, we expect to trade closer to the peer average. Uh, over long term. All right, so you're hoping that through 2020 the market starts to pick up on the story uh, and they start to understand it better. And, and are there, there certain milestones that we can look forward to uh, from the company in terms of news flow? Absolutely. Uh, so we expect to have the drill results, as I say, in the first quarter of this year. Uh, so expect those as they come in. Um, also, later on in the year, we could be putting out an optimized PA scenario. As I mentioned, we already have a PA on the open pit scenario that shows good economics, but we still think with uh, some higher grade uh, resources that we can further improve those. So expect to have an optimized PA scenario come out uh, later on this year. Uh, in addition, we have a property which we haven't talked about yet, but that's in Chile. Okay. And we're partnered with Rio Tinto on that project. So Rio Tinto has an option to earn up to 75% stake in this Arcus project that we own. Uh, and they'll be doing some work there throughout the year. So hoping that they'll be looking to spend over a million dollars US. Um, on some earlier stage exploration activities there. So our shareholders would benefit from that. Oh, that's well. interesting. And you, you don't attract a big major like Rio Tinto when you're, you're sitting on nothing. So they're obviously interested for a reason. It's absolutely. Yeah. yeah, no, we're an elephant country situated in one of the best parts of Chile there, that project. Yeah. So 
Yeah, so we're, we're very excited to have Rio Tinto advance that. That's right, that, that's all. That's gold, silver, that's, what is that one? That's, that's a, a, a porphyry, uh, so copper gold. Copper, okay, okay copper, gold it. copper gold. All right, very good. Yeah. Thanks, John. Thank you very much. John Miniotis, he's the uh, CEO of uh, this company, Abra Plata Resorts.